Welcome to Scheduling Jobs Using Cron. After watching this video, you'll be able to Schedule Cron Jobs with Cron tab Describe the Cron Syntax Apply and remove Cron Jobs Whether you're a system administrator or a data engineer or even a developer, there may be times when you want to schedule certain jobs to run automatically at certain times. For example, you may want to schedule a load script to run every day at midnight and a backup script to run every Sunday at 2 a.m. The cron utility on Linux and Unix-like operating systems allows you to do just that. Cron is the general name of the tool that runs scheduled jobs consisting of shell commands or shell scripts. Cron is the daemon or service that interprets cron tab files every minute and submits the corresponding jobs to cron at scheduled times. A cron tab, short for cron table, is a file containing jobs and schedule data. Cron tab is also a command that invokes a text editor to allow you to edit a cron tab file. Entering cron tab minus e on the command line opens the default text editor. Using the editor, you can specify a new schedule and a command, which has the following syntax. Command can be any shell command, including a call to a shell script. The symbols stand for minute, hour, day of month, month, and day of week. All five positions must have either a numeric entry or an asterisk, which is a wildcard symbol that means any. For example, the following syntax means Append the current date to the file sundays.txt at 1530 every Sunday. Closing the editor and saving the changes adds the job to the cron tab. Let's take a closer look at each of these steps. Entering cron tab minus e on the command line opens the default text editor. In this case, the default editor is GNU Nano. Conveniently, instructions for setting up cron jobs are included here as comments. Instructions for using the editor are also included, but you likely will only need Control x in this context. Here, I have entered three example cron jobs. Notice that extra spaces are ignored, so to improve the readability, you can align your entries as columns under the header. The first entry instructs cron to append the current date to the file sundays.txt at 1530 every Sunday. The next line specifies a load data shell script to run at midnight every day, while the last line results in cron running the backup data shell script to run at 2 a.m. on Sundays. To save the job, first type Control X to exit the editor, and then enter Y to save your changes. The jobs are now in production. Running cron tab with the L option returns a list of all cron jobs and their schedules. I used tail to avoid returning all of the comments from the cron tab file. To remove a job, simply invoke a cron tab editor, delete the corresponding line in the cron tab file, and save the changes. In this video, you learned that cron jobs can be scheduled to run periodically at selected times. Cron Crond and crontab have different functions. Entering crontab minus e on the command line opens the default text editor. Running crontab with the L option returns a list of all cron jobs and their schedules. 